Okay, so first thing I want to say before the video starts is don't do drugs. Doing drugs is honestly one of the worst things you can do, and no one should be doing it. Trust me, it's not good for you. Okay, now that the parents aren't watching, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So before we actually get into this, I want to make sure you guys know that I'm currently live on Twitch, so this is like a very important thing. Please go watch me. I'm, I'm alone all the time on Twitch, so it sucks. And on top of that, if you guys haven't already, leave a like and subscribe, because if you don't subscribe, well, you're dumb because it's free, so you might as well just do it anyway. So back when I was 17... I'm not gonna lie. I was an experimental kid. Well, are you still a kid when you're 17? I don't know. But going on, I remember one of the things I've always wanted to do was do, well, you know, drugs. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not proud of it. Drugs is honestly something disgusting and no one should be doing drugs. But I remember there was this one certain drug that I really wanted to try. And it was called mushrooms. Now, mushrooms was not very common back in high school. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It was really hard to come by. But I remember there was this one guy who I knew in my school and he was like kind of like a drug dealer in a sense. I don't know why. I feel like the drug dealer has like that most average basic look where they wear like a bape clothing. If you guys know what bape is, it's like a clothing brand and basically wear it from like head to toe and then have like, you know, maybe like a perm in their hair or maybe they have like that goth look in their hair. Usually they have an earring on the left side. I'm basically describing this person right now that was the drug dealer in my school, but it's fine because I'm not in high school anymore. Thank God. Going on though, I remember one time he was walking down the hallway and I was kind of just walking down with him and I remember I was kind of talking to him about, you know, how I really want to try it out. I think it was because I ended up watching this show that like, you know, basically said, if you were on mushrooms, this show was better for you. Yeah. I don't know what show that was. Honestly, if I ever do figure it out, I probably will tell you guys. I'm not sure. Actually, no, I probably won't. Don't do drugs, kids. Going on though, as I was walking down the hallway, I was asking him about, you know, maybe doing something, trying it out, seeing how it works. And the drug dealer, I'm not gonna lie, he was a good friend of mine in a sense. Not really. I mean, he did not like me that much, but he was a genuine dude. He told me, bro, if you wanna like do drugs, man, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, you cannot get caught doing it. And on top of that, like, bro, you know what I'm saying, dog? Like, be safe, but don't be sorry. Yeah, that was my best impression of him. Uh, he was from a different country. If you guys didn't notice that already, but going on. So I told him, bro, like, if I just do it, like, will I get caught? Like, will I die? You know, is, is it safe? And then he told me, bro, I'll tell you one thing. Like, it's totally safe, bruv. Just make sure you don't, you know, take too much. Because if you take too much, then you're going to go psycho ward. Yeah. So he basically said I was going to go psycho if I took too much, which makes sense. I mean, don't people die from drugs almost every day? Yeah. Warning, don't do drugs, kids. Going on. I remember as I was like, you know, basically talking to him about doing it, I remember his girlfriend walked up to him and his girlfriend was like, you know, this basic redhead weird chick that no one really liked in our school because she was really known for like kind of being a cheater in a sense. I mean, don't get me wrong. I didn't have the best reputation either knowing everyone knew I did the devil's tango with like almost every chick, but you know, still drugs or uh, drugs. Yeah. Okay. Going on. So I remember she walks up to him and says, Hey hun, like, do you want to like, I don't know, like maybe go smoke some pot after school. Great. My worst enemy weed. Or should I say devil's lettuce? Yeah. I'm not a fan of uh the devil's lettuce. It's kind of gross. And I said, you know what? Like, I think I'm good here. I'm just going to dip. I'll, I'll text you tomorrow or something. And then he gave me his new number because apparently my drug dealer had like a new number every single week, which makes no sense. But I mean, fair enough. I remember the week went down and I remember I was one time sitting in my room. And as I was sitting in my room, I remember I was on Xbox with the boys talking to them saying, bro, like I was thinking about maybe like, you know, trying out mushrooms. It looks really cool. And honestly, people say it's like life changing. I remember my friend told me that he wanted to join in on it. So he's like, bro, like I'm down to try mushrooms with you. Like, like put me in, bro. Like seriously, man. And I remember the next day at school, right after that day of me being on Xbox with the boys, we all kind of group up together as a group and we ended up you know talking about doing the you know stuff the stuff you know what i'm saying like the stuff stuff you, you guys get what i mean we all meet up and me the drug dealer his girlfriend and my friend were all there we we're all chilling there and we we're all kind of like hanging out at like this like crib i don't know he called it a crib but my opinion was just his mom's house and we we're all kind of just sitting down on the couches i remember my drug dealer ended up pulling the drugs on the table and he threw it on the table saying all right bro so this is the thing we're all gonna be doing the drugs but basically i don't want you guys to too much but do like a decent amount you know what i'm saying dog and i'm like okay cool cool what are we doing like i was just so confused until i realized that you just literally put it in your mouth and eat it like once again i'm gonna mention this like three times in the video just so youtube doesn't get on my butt cheeks don't do drugs kids but anyways going on i remember what basically happened was we ended up you know all sitting there kind of just doing it and by doing it i mean we were just passed out from doing drugs well we we're all hallucinating in a sense honestly all i'm gonna say is, is that doing drugs is honestly the dumbest thing in the world like if you really want to feel that stupid just bang your hand on the wall a couple times and boom drugs but going on i remember an hour went by and i remember me i didn't take such a big amount of mushrooms that time because honestly i just didn't want to do it honestly i might as well just call it mushrooms devil's mushrooms yeah i didn't do that much to be honest i took like the smallest bite and i remember my thing wear it off like maybe like in 20 minutes and i remember also for some reason my drug dealer's girlfriend didn't actually do it she actually refused to do the drugs which is smart on her but she just decided to watch over us to make sure all of us were safe and i remember she was looking at me the entire time when i was tripping out and then i remember as i was like you know stopped hallucinating basically or when it wore off on me she was kept staring at me i remember i looked 
looked at her. I'm like, are you good? And she said, yeah, like, um, my like boyfriend's like still like under and like, you know, your friend's still pretty tripped out as well. So like, yeah, I, I guess I'm just watching you guys. She sounded really dumb and pretty creepy for saying that. I'm not going to lie, but I remember me and her, we ended up just talking about, you know, the future she wanted and what she actually wanted. To be honest, for a girl that was a drug dealer's girlfriend, she had a pretty big imagination. Funny enough, she wants to be a cop, which I'm not going to lie. Sounds really dumb because you're dating a drug dealer, but you know, fair, fair play, fair play. We're all young, I guess. And I remember basically after a while, I kind of just got bored and she got bored as well. And she ended up standing up saying, Hey, like, do you want to like, maybe go to like the bedroom? I want to like show you a cool view that like this crib has. She also called it a crib, which is kind of cringe. It was clearly his mom's house, but going on, we ended up going upstairs and we ended up going to this room and this room had a beautiful view. It was outstanding. And I remember me and her were just standing out there looking at the view. And I told her, honestly, if you have dreams, just go for it. If you're not happy with where you're at then change it, you can change anything in your life. Honestly, I don't know where I got that quote from. I think I got it from some sort of book or I watched it from some episode of a movie, but I mean, it works for pulling women. I remember once I said that she ended up coming close to me and me and her, we ended up getting close and we started making out. As we were making out, I remember we instantly just went over to the bed that was also in that room and we ended up doing the devil's tango. Yeah, not surprising. I know. For all you guys type in the comments, dude, there is no way he did it again. This guy is totally insane. Yeah, I know. It, it, it's, it's very common nowadays, I guess. Anyways, going on, I remember like we ended up being in there for two hours. Two hours, just me and her, you know, doing the devil's tango. And then I remember one crazy thing that ended up happening. She ended up basically kind of looking at her clock midway through and she's like, oh my goodness, they're about to like wear off. Oh my goodness, they're, they're, they're gonna be out of being high. Oh my goodness, we cannot be caught in here. And right away, as she got up and off the bed, instantly her boyfriend walks in and says, are you flipping joking, my guy? You literally decided to sleep with my girlfriend when I literally invite you to my own crib to make sure you could do the assassins of mushrooms, bruv. You are honestly insane. Honestly, you're gonna get scrapped out. I know my impression's not the best, but you know what? Just let it be. It works for the video, okay? Going on, I remember when that happened, I was kind of freaking out. I was like, oh God. And I remember my friend was kind of behind the drug dealer, kind of going like, dude, seriously? Are you serious right now? And uh, yeah, one thing led to another. He ended up pulling out a knife and saying, you better get out of my house, bro, or I'm seriously gonna take out of you and seriously make sure you regret it. I remember I ended up just putting on my pants and I had my shirt in my hand and I literally basically ran through him. Um, I ran through him. I mean, my friend pushed him aside and I ran through and the door to basically leave. And from there, I remember I went downstairs, grabbed my shoes and I didn't even put them on. I just grabbed them and I instantly ran to my friend's car. I ended up driving because my friend said he felt really weird. And I remember we instantly just drove back to his place. When we drove back to his place, I'm not going to lie. My friend was kind of feeling under the weather. And I remember his mom ended up walking up to me and him as we entered the house saying, oh, are you okay? You seem very out of it. And I remember right as his mom says that my friends decides to puke on the ground. Yeah, not a good look for us. But other than that, that is basically everything that's basically happened. And that's how I basically saw with my drug dealer's girlfriend. Honestly, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. It seriously means a lot when you guys do. And if you guys have any questions, like I said, I am live on Twitch as we speak right now. So I highly advise you guys go on there. Other than that, like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. All right, peace out, guys.